a beard product ingredient extracted from a bird, emu oil. I'm gonna give you guys everything you need to know about this ingredient that you can find in different beard products. And welcome on in guys, my name is Dancy Bearded. For anyone that doesn't know, my subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related because of videos just like this. This is the newest installment of my Carrier Oils 101 series. If you don't know, I am actually a teacher, right? The play on the 101 series. And I love research and it really fits well with this type of video. I break down the ingredients where they come from, the history behind them, the benefits, and everything you need to know. And this is definitely on the controversial end of the carrier oil ingredients, but I'm gonna give you the information where you can make a decision if it seems like something that you wanna look for or you wanna stay away from. Let's check out the intro and then we'll get into the info. Where? Where does the emu oil ingredient come from? Starting out with a heavy hitter right away for you guys. Well, this ingredient does come from the emu bird. Now this is a bird that is native to Australia but is found in many countries today as they are raising it for these purposes. And the emu bird has a layer of fat that is just below its skin that can be converted into this oil that we know and see in beard products. Now. The bird does need to be killed to extract this oil. Now please stay till the very end where I give some perspective and even my own personal opinion on this. And I rarely give personal opinions. This channel is about facts, but I think this, uh, this perspective can really help people. With that, they are not killing this bird strictly for the oil. The oil is actually a byproduct that comes with the bird. Now, if you work with a good association, such as the American Emu Association, and there's many in Australia and all over the world, they certify that 95% of the bird is going to be used. So this is something that they are using the meat for food. They are using the feathers for pillows and all sorts of different really helpful ways to be able to use this animal. It is not like they are just getting the oil and then ditching the bird for that purpose. And they ensure that the bird is living the most enjoyable life possible. Now, where you stand on that, we can kind of address at the end, but I want to make sure we're clear on that, that they're not just slaughtering this bird for your beard product and a bird pr creates a lot of product. One emu bird can produce up to 250 ounces of emu oil. Now, to give you an idea, think about 250 bottles of beard oil full of emu oil. If you're finding emu oil in your beard product, it's not anywhere near the majority of the bottle. There's probably under a quarter of it and even less from there as an ingredient. So this is going to make a lot of products from one bird as well as all those other things. Now, emu oil is a yellow colored oil. It does come from fat that has to go through processing to make sure they get rid of all the contaminants and bacteria, but those same associations are gonna make sure that it is pure and they're testing it and doing everything they can. So if you're a company out there that is thinking about using emu oil, is using emu oil, or you're just wanting to learn from this video, I highly recommend you check out the American Emu Association, the Australian Emu Association, or any one of the ones around the world, and only buy ingredients that are going to be certified by them. That is really important there. You don't wanna mess with an animal product that is not going through rigorous training, because that could be dangerous, but the companies that I know and trust are going through those hoops and making sure they are getting the best possible product from that emu oil. History. Being a history teacher, this segment fascinates me to know about these ingredients. They had to start somewhere. How did somebody stumble upon this ingredient and the benefits of it? Well, probably not a shocker in this case. The Aborigines of Australia discovered this ingredient's benefits over 40,000 years ago. Yeah, let me hit you with that again. Over 40 thousand years ago. This oil has been used ever since then. Now they of course would kill the emu bird for the, its meat. And then what they would do is they would take the skin of the bird and they would hang it over a tree and they would let it hang there with a pot underneath to collect the dripping fat, aka the oil. That Australian sun is very hot as you guys know. And what it would do is by itself, by its own, the sun would render that fat down to a liquid. And then there were two main uses that the Aborigines did with 
with the emu oil. One is they found it was an amazing sunscreen or a protector against those UV rays. They would not burn when they would cover their skin in the emu oil. And two, they found that it would heal wounds, that their wounds would heal faster when they would coat it with that emu oil. So pretty crazy to think how long this product has been used for in Australia and then started to develop amongst the world. Europe was next to get it when the Aborigines showed them how they were extracting this product and how they were using it. Then it passed on to America and has been used all over the world ever since then. Benefits. Emu oil is a phenomenal moisturizer because of its fantastic ability to penetrate through the first layer of skin. Now most beard oil ingredients we see are gonna do one of two things. It's either going to seal and coat the outside of the skin and the hair, or it's gonna penetrate into the first layer of skin. Emu oil is one of the only ones we see on a research level that is able to penetrate beyond that first layer of skin. And there are tons of benefits to that, and I'll tell you about some of them. First is, a lot of people use this for skin conditions such as eczema. Why? It has great anti-inflammatory abilities. It is going to take all those skin conditions that are flaring up and really just soothe and calm them down, which is very, very valuable. The next thing, and this is clinically proven, because it's able to go and penetrate deeper into the skin than most oils or ingredients that we see today, it has the ability to wake up dormant hairs and start regrowth where you have not seen it before. So usually if you have a patch or some part of your face that's, that's not growing in the same way, it's either genetics, which we're not gonna be able to do a whole lot about because the hair is not dormant, it's just not there. But a lot of the time we have dormant hairs because of some trauma that happened, whether it was from shaving, whether it was from something like a burn or a cut, a scrape, well those hairs are still there they're just deeper than they once were. And emu oil is proven to be able to go deeper, kind of shake those hairs up a little bit and restart that growth again. So if you feel like you have an area of trauma on your face, emu oil could be that miracle ingredient that's going to wake those hairs up again for you. So this one is a very specific job, a very specific task, which is needed in a beautiful carrier blend. You need people to play their role. Well, emu oil is going to penetrate and make some amazing moisturizing properties for your hair and your skin especially. Recommend. Do I recommend the emu oil ingredient for you guys in your beard products? Yes. Me personally, I 100% recommend this oil. Now, if I'm looking at beard products, Emu oil makes one of the biggest differences for my beard and my skin out of anything. If I were to not look at ingredients, emu oil almost stands out the most to me. Of course, castor does because of how thick it is. Anybody can pick out if there's castor in there. But if all the oils are of the similar viscosity and you were to put them in five different bottles and change the levels in which they were at, if you had one that had more emu oil in it than the others, I would be able to tell with how my beard feels and how my beard looks. Now that is important to me. It is a real game changer oil. Why? Because it's not that common. I really do notice positive differences when I use it. Now, the real big question is going to be whether it is okay for you, whether it is morally right. The fact of the matter is a bird does need to die to acquire this ingredient. Now, if you are morally against animals being used for food, for products, for clothing, for anything, you're a vegan or a vegetarian, absolutely no argument with you whatsoever. I completely respect that, and I think it's pretty awesome that you're able to hold that standard throughout all aspects of your life. My sister is a vegan. We've never once argued about it. Me personally, I love meat. I love animal products. I eat beef jerky almost every night, pork jerky. I eat venison. I really think it's natural. I feel better when I have a steak dinner. But again, that is me personally. I have buddies who are vegetarians and live a whole plant-based lifestyle and we have never had an argument. I respect the heck out of my buddies that are like that. However, there are people that I have seen criticize this ingredient, saying that it is cruel to use a product from a bird that literally on their Instagram post pictures of their steak meals. They literally post pictures while they are at McDonald's with their family. No, you have no moral ability to be able to do that. There is no difference 
in killing an emu bird for its feathers, its meat, and its oil than there is killing a cow, a pig, a chicken for its meat, its feathers, any other properties. There is no moral difference there. Just because we do not see this emu bird in America, it's not something that is common to us, does not mean it is any different than what we are doing. Again, I'm not telling you it's right, I'm not telling you it's okay, I'm giving you my personal opinion and respecting everyone's. But you do not have the right to say it is wrong to acquire this oil from an animal if you yourself are acquiring other ingredients such as steak from an animal or wearing leather. So I wanna make sure we're clear on that because that is the most hypocritical thing I have ever seen. And yes, I've literally seen people argue about this ingredient while they have pictures of their steak on their Instagram. That is not okay there. So for me, one of the best feel and beard products, period. A massive difference. Two companies that I know have emu oil in their ingredients. Black Rebel Beard Co. has an option for it. I believe they have in the line without emu oil. And the new company, Broke Donkey Beard Co., they do include emu oil in theirs. And for me, again, you guys, phenomenal. I absolutely love that. Now, before somebody comments down below and say, oh, I read an article that it's a DHT blocker, get that garbage research out of here. I'm making a video on that very, very soon. It's just wrong. It's just wrong. So <laughs> stay tuned for that when I break down that video. I'm really excited for that one. So question to leave you guys with, are there any other companies that you know that use emu oil? I know I missed some, so that's why I'm leaving this up here, and I encourage you guys to check the comments down below. Also, what did you learn from this video? Were you not sure where it came from? You didn't know if the name was a coincidence because I get asked that all the time. Is there anything that you thought was interesting? And then lastly, have you had any experience with emu oil? Does your beard love it? Does your skin feel amazing? Or did it not go so well? It did not agree with your genetic makeup. It is completely open, guys, down below. But again, I'm not going to allow people to have that moral stance that are eating steaks, that are wearing leather, but then say it's wrong to be able to use emu oil. No, that is just hypocritical, and I cannot stand for that. So thank you guys. I know this one's going to ruffle a little bit of feathers, and guess what? I'm okay. Facts over feelings always. My name is Dan C. Bearded, the trusted teacher for an earned reason. I hope that you guys stay bearded and stay positive.